Hi guys, so I'm a bit under the weather. The past few days have been really challenging for me, but I remain committed to bringing you everything that happened in the THA this past week. This episode will be slightly different. You'll see me now and in the end, but throughout the episode, you're only going to hear my voice. I just couldn't pull myself up to facing that sun today. But we have lots to cover, so let's get to it. This is 116. Many people look forward to World Food Day celebrations in Tobago, and this year's two-day exhibition was nothing short of educational and fun. Under the theme, Right to Foods for a Better Life and a Better Future, the Shaw Park Food Hub was abuzz with vendors and patrons. The 2024 theme highlights the importance of food diversity and recognizes that small farmers are the backbone of efforts to end hunger and achieve sustainable development goals too. The Bloody Bay Blue Food Festival is a staple on the Tobago events calendar. It is centered around the ground provision dashin, locally called Blue Food. This year's event is expected to be memorable and cater to the entire family. This is an opportunity for us to take our families to Bloody Bay Tobago where the festival will be held. There we will be celebrating the king of all tubers, dashin. Along the route, the very scenic route along the north side of Tobago. There will be stops, picture stops, where you could capture memories of yourself and your family heading towards the festival where, where much activities and competitions would be held. From Blue Food to Carnival. The 2024 Tobago October Carnival begins on Friday, October 25th, and according to Assemblyman Niall George, Assistant Secretary of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation, they are ready for the festivities. We are asking everyone that would be taking part in the, in the carnival to have a safe, I repeat again, a safe but enjoyable festival. One of the main features of our Tobago Carnival has been safety and we intend to keep it that way. We have had many security meetings with, with the, um, stakeholders, the security stakeholders and they have assured us that all plans are well on the way and they intend to keep the reputation of Tobago having the safest carnival in the world. Staying with Carnival, the Tobago Soka Titans competition is set for Wednesday, October 23rd. A draw was held on Thursday, October 17th to determine the finalists' performance order. The competitors will take the stage in the following sequence. Caston Cupid, Javon Royal Jackson, Gerard GMB Balfour, David Starboy International Thomas, Jaheem vs. Thomas, Wendell Excite Alexander, Kalen Jamois Alexander, Dejeri Saul, Kishon Swadi Jack, and Adrian Numnum Isaac. 70 families have taken a significant step towards a better future, receiving essential assistance from the Division of Settlements, Public Utilities and Rural Development in Tobago. This impactful event included the distribution of 16 land parcels, 4 townhouses and 50 home improvement grants valued at over $600,000. The event was held at the Shaw Park Complex. These grants are to be used to uplift your life, improve your home. We have some persons who try to access these grants who just need to just change a window. Some people want to put on a washroom. When you go into some person's homes, you can see where their kids could fall through the flooring. I mean, there's, we have pictures with five pigtail buckets in people's roof. It is the problem, it is bad out there, people. So, there will be changes in the grants policy. The Executive Council is yet to approve it. But it's high time that these grants meet those persons who really, really deserve it. Yeah. 
Meanwhile, the Oversight Committee was responsible for clearing the backlog of applications for home improvement grants. The committee was recognized at the Land and Grant Distribution event held at the Shaw Park Complex on Monday, October 14th. The committee was comprised of staff at the Division of Settlements, Public Utilities and Rural Development and other THA divisions. Mr. Ugo Blanco, Resident Representative, UNDP, Multi-Country Office, Trinidad and Tobago, Aruba, Curaçao and St. Martin, paid a courtesy call on the Chief Secretary of Tobago, the Honorable Fali Augustine, and the Chief Administrator, THA, Mrs. Denise Toby Kwashi. Bobby Andrews, Planning Coordinator at the Tobago House of Assembly, was also present. The meeting was held on Tuesday, October 15th in the Chief Secretary's Office, Otroy Charles Administrative Complex. The opening ceremony and a welcome reception for the Blue Flag 2024 National Operators Meeting was hosted under the auspices of Chief Secretary Tobago, the Honorable Fali Augustine, at the Shaw Park Complex. Blue Flag is a global symbol of quality recognized in over 50 countries across the globe that signifies adherence to strict criteria relating to organization, cleanliness, environmental management, and services. But the importance of this international conference today is that for us in Tobago, we are adamant that we must be able to preserve what we grew up on and grew up with so that several generations later will be, en be able to enjoy the same things we enjoy as children. A third 1,000 meet and greet event was held at the Shaw Park Complex on Sunday, October 13th. CERT, or the Community Emergency Response Team, is meant to be the community's first line of defense during emergencies. They are a dedicated group of trained volunteers who step up to assist when disaster strikes. Tobago Agri-Technology Services Limited, TAGS, has prioritized hosting a summit aimed at enhancing climate resilience through technological advancements. Dubbed the Tobago Agritech Innovation Summit, Secretary of Food Security, Natural Resources, the Environment and Sustainable Development, Natisha Charles Pantin, emphasized the summit's importance in providing crucial support to farmers facing ongoing challenges. As the first of its kind on the island, the summit aims to position Tobago as a leader in agricultural innovation, addressing climate change challenges and showcasing agri-tech solutions that will shape how we grow our food, manage resources and ensure our sustainable future. The Assembly Legislature recently held its first ever Tobago Day Youth Debate Caravan, during which students were engaged and educated about legislative history, debating techniques, and the People's House. Here's a bit of the school visits. And that's how we bring this episode of 116 and end, guys. I hope you appreciated us bringing you all that happened in the THA this past week, even though the episode was slightly different from what we usually bring you. If you're not following us on social media, feel free to do so now so you never miss anything that we post. I'm Patricia Nicholson-Richards, and I'll see you in our next episode. Beautiful island. That was a production of the Department of Information, Office of the Chief Secretary, Tobago House of Assembly.